and uh, top right circles. And I think we've already had this, but we're going to talk a little bit about this stuff. What do we talk about cycles? We've got the distance around the circle, which we call its circumference. We have the distance through a circle, which we call the diameter. And we have the distance halfway through the circle, which we call a radius. Which is a radius. Now, the special thing we talk about today is I don't know who the gentleman was or, or the guy at all, maybe it was a gal. Somebody, somewhere back in time, Decided that they thought it was fun. It was fun. It was probably some, probably some mathematical person. They thought it would be fun to find a whole bunch of circles. Let's find a circle here. Let's do this can of good old-fashioned sauerkraut. I love sauerkraut. <laughs> They found out it would be fun if they would take the circumference of, here's my can of kraut. Circumference equals, see if I can measure this out in millimeters. Circumference, gotta have one of these little long tape measures here. Let's see what we come up with. Oh no, that's not gonna work because I don't have to go to the other side. Still works. And measure around this can here. Let's see, John. I'm going to tell you how many. How many millimeters does that do? Oh. Oops. Let's try this again. Millimeters. No, that's not millimeters. That 22 is 230. I'll go to 30. I'll go to 30. Let's go to 32. 232 millimeters around the can. And he decided, hey, I'm going to take that 232 and divide it by whatever the diameter is of the can. I don't know why, he just had nothing better to do. Let's see if Ephraim can. Ephraim, what do you suppose the diameter of that can is in millimeters? Well, no, it's centimeters. 70, what? How many little millimeters after that? And he said, here's 73. So he took this little 236. And he said, I'm going to divide it by that 73. And see what I get. Put some decimal points in here. Add some zeros because it's not going to work out easy, probably. Oh, 73 goes into this probably three times. Let's do this. 9, 219, sure. Uh, 219, what do I get left over here? 7, uh oh. Oh, wait, it's 1, 117, right? Yeah. Bring it down. How many times does 73 go into that? I guess it's 2, is it? 146? 146, I guess I don't have any room left. What is that? 24. 73 goes in that, about whatever, 3.23. And he said, hmm, interesting. Then he said, well, let's try another circle. We have another circle here. Um, I need something circular. Maybe a uh, okay. highlighter? Maybe a basketball. CD. Have a yeah. There's, yeah, a There's a basketball, but I can't. Oh. You know, part of this is I don't think it starts at 1. So he measured around the CD. 
Yeah, it's 376. Nice, Leo. Here's my CV. Let's do that. Let's do that up here. My CV had a circumference of 300. What did I say? 76. And a diameter of. I'm going to get this close to the middle. Oh, pretty close to the Yeah, it's right at 120. I like that. So, and then he said, well, I'm going to divide that out. 376, 120 for decimal. Oh, look. What is this? 3 is 360. 160. Oh, 1 is 120. 400 is about, what, 3 times? Anyways, the guy kept measuring all these circles and kept dividing it by the diameters. And guess what he ended up with? 3.14. He ended up with that number that's up there every time. We could, we didn't get it because we weren't very accurate. But what he found was if he kept dividing the circumference by the diameter, he ended up with this circumference divided by the diameter always gave him that number that was 3.14 something, 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 which we call pi. Here's our little symbol for pi. It's also written out pi in letters. Those all mean the same thing. Now, the nice thing about that is pi is awful close to 3, but since you know how to do decimals, you will always be able to write down this formula. Circumference equals, I'm sorry, equals pi times diameter. Circumference equals pi times diameter. And right now, we will always use, instead of pi, we will use the number 3.14. Pi is always the same. But the strange thing about pi is it's never perfectly 3.14. You can see all those decimals. Pi keeps going on forever. But we round it to be just 3.14. So as long as you know the diameter of a circle, you can find out the distance around the circle. For example, the diameter of the Earth this is kind of close. The diameter of the Earth is about 8,000 miles. So based on that, if you're going all the way around the Earth, you would just have to multiply 8,000 times 3.14, which is about 24,000 plus miles around the Earth. That's kind of, right. it's kind of an estimation. Now, the book's going to actually give you problems. I'll write this one down. Uh, it's going to tell you that the... Uh, here's a, here is a circle. And the diameter is 2 inches. What is its circumference? Now, when you see a problem like this, Charlie, come up in the book, what are you going to do? First thing you're going to do is... Sketch the problem. Sketch the problem. Second thing you're going to do is, Sam, write the, like, write the formula. You're going to write circumference equals pi times diameter. That's all I need to see. You need to get used to doing that. And then you fill in the blanks. Circumference equals 3.14 is what we're going to be using for pi. What is the diameter of this circle? Two. So you're going to then take 3.14, multiply it by 2. Is my answer 628? Yes, no. It is not 628. What is it, John? It's 6.28. Yeah. Two decimal places there, come back, two decimal places, and make sure you label it 600 or 62.6.28 inches. 
Another formula they also give you for circumference. If you know the radius, can you still find circumference? Yes. Why? Because radius, radius times 2 is diameter. the diameter. So you could also write this formula like this. Circumference equals pi times 2 times radius. Because 2 radius is, is a diameter. Either way you write the formula, you can still do that problem. Isn't that exciting? Yes. I think that's so. All right. Your assignment, then.